Hey everybody and welcome back. We have reached day 11 of our series exploring how to use Spark within Microsoft Fabric. And today we're coming to a very interesting topic, which is joining data frames. So up until this point, we've been looking at a single data. But typically in data projects, data engineering projects, we want to merge or join a few different data sets. Maybe you want to denormalize your data for your Power BI model, and you can do this at scale on large distributed data sets using Spark. And that's what we're gonna be going through today. So let's jump straight into this. And as ever, this code is available on GitHub, link in the description below. To start, what we're gonna be doing is reading our table. So if you've been following along with this series, you should have a table in your lake house called property sales. And what I'm gonna be doing is just calling spark.sql and selecting all of the rows from that table. And we're going to be storing that into a Spark data frame called sales fact df. Because these are really fact tables. This is about property sales, things that have happened in the world. And so to start with, we're just going to grab this. OK, so we have successfully grabbed our data from that lake house table. And this is what it looks like. We've gone back to the, the streamlined three row data set. And um, we've got three rows and it represents different sales prices of properties. Next, what we're gonna be doing is creating a dimension table because perhaps we want to add a few more columns into this like fact table with maybe more information about the agent. Okay, what company do they work for? Or the city, what, what country is that in? Or the type, maybe that has a higher level categorization. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to make a dimension table very quickly. And it's going to be a cities dimension table. So it's going to have three columns. It's going to be the city UAID, unique identifier, or UID, unique identifier, the city name, and the country that that city is in. I'm just going to call spark.createDataFrame. And we've got our schema, which is these columns. Okay, so there you go. That's what our data frame looks like. We've got three columns, city name, country. And you'll notice that some of these are in our data set and some of them aren't. So we've got New York, Los Angeles, and Atlanta. We don't have London or Dublin in our fact table. So what we're gonna do is join the sales fact table with the city dimension table. And I'll leave a link to the, uh, the documentation that talks you through in a bit more process what the syntax is for this join function. But the generic structure of it is, okay, first we're gonna get the first data frame. We're gonna call dot join. We're gonna pass in the second data frame as our first parameter here. Then we're gonna pass in as our second parameter, okay, what are we gonna join on? And it's gonna be similar to doing a SQL join, really. We're gonna say, okay, I want the first data frame, this column to be equal to the second data frame, this column name. And then we're gonna pass in finally a join type. So this is gonna be by default an inner join, but it must be one of this long list. So inner, cross, outer, full, full outer, left join, right join, semi, left semi, all of the, and an anti, left anti join as well. So all of these are listed here in the documentation if you want to do a bit more reading on those with some examples but let's just look at what this looks like then so moving on from the generic structure what does it look like for our data well we've got the sales fact table we're going to join it on the city dimension table that table that we've just created this one here and we're going to join on the city so sales fact dot city is equal to city dimension dot city name and we're gonna do an inner join, and we're gonna show the results. So let's just have a look at what that looks like. Okay, so we can see we've joined successfully, and we're doing an inner join, so we're getting everything from the left-hand side, basically, and the matching from the right-hand side. So we're not getting anything for Dublin or London, but where we've got New York, Los Angeles, and Atlanta, it's pulling through the relevant rows in the dimension table, which is exactly what we want. Because perhaps now we want to do an aggregate function or a group by an aggregate function on the country. So maybe we want to do 
country by country lists or counts of sales, for example. So that's how you would do that there. But perhaps we want to not bring over all the columns. Well, as we've seen previously, we can drop a few of the column names. Maybe I don't actually need the UAID for my analysis or the, the, UI, the UI, UID, I think it's called. Or we don't really need the city name because we have city already in our data set. So this is just gonna be exactly the same, but we're gonna call drop. Okay, so now it's exactly the same result, but we don't have city UID and we don't have the city name. And that's what that looks like there. So that's the basic way to join data sets within PySpark and within Microsoft Fabric. So very simple. That's basically all there is to it. Obviously, I haven't gone into all the details about the different join types. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, first one to answer in the comments gets absolutely nothing but my respect and a well done. What do each of these do? So your inner cross, outer full. Some of these are duplicates, so just they do the same thing, but they're just called different things. Spark gives us a few different options. So bear that in mind. So if you're feeling like you've got absolutely nothing to do with your day, then you can leave me a comment with what all these do. Thank you very much for watching. That's the end of the video. The code is on GitHub. Like, subscribe, share it with people that you think might find this useful. And we'll continue our journey tomorrow into the world of Apache Spark in Fabric.